And when I was testing it beforehand, I actually wasn't positive it would work, but it did. Hey, this is Marcus, AKA Cradle Cat. And here we're going to walk through how to make any audio file or sample fit to your project tempo in Logic Pro. Really quick before we do that, thanks so much for helping me get to 300 subscribers here on YouTube. I definitely appreciate that. If you wanna see any more videos of me walking through things I've learned about music production or just following any of my music, go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube for more videos. And let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for new videos. And now let's take that mismatched audio file and get it to work in our project. And just a note, there are a lot of ways that you can get audio to a different tempo. This is just one of them and it's the quickest way that I've personally found to do it. So here, I've got just a really basic beat to kind of show you what the project tempo is, just to hear what that is first. And then we wanna take a really messy piano loop that I did and uh, make it work with the project. So here's the loop that we have. It is literally an iPhone recording of me playing something on a keyboard, not even a real piano. And uh, there was no metronome, no timing, no consistent timing throughout it. So this was a true test of if it would actually work. And when I was testing it beforehand, I actually wasn't positive it would work, but it did. <laughs> so uh, before we do that, let's, let's just take a listen to that messy piano file. And then we'll clean it up a little bit first here. Great, so now that we've cleaned that up a little bit, let's uh, listen to it with the drum beat just to see how that lines up or does not line up. So obviously that's not great. Uh, so to make this work, all I have to do is go ahead, right click here and under tempo, apply project tempo to region and downbeat. So this does a lot of just automatic stuff for, through logic. I can't tell you what's going on behind the scenes, but basically it's finding all the big transients and lining them up with those downbeats for the tempo. So now when we listen back, and it does a pretty good first pass at it. And if you don't already have it on in your project, you can then turn on flex time here to really get in there and change anything that wasn't great the first time. So when we listen back, so this beat in particular is a little bit delayed right here. Um, so I'm just going to set up anchor spot here. And actually, I want that to be a little bit closer to the actual peak of the transient there. Okay. And now let's just go ahead and correct a couple of these other ones that are slightly off just to really make it uh you know exactly to the beat here and then we can also go ahead and just loop this here enable looping in that region editor and if i didn't want to do as much of the manual moving of those uh different time handles then i could have also gone to my quantize setting, you know, set that to whatever interval I want. And logic would automatically line some of those bars up for me. I'm going to leave it at the manual one though, since it sounds pretty good right now. And let's say that instead of this quicker pattern that we have here, we instead want it to be, uh, you know, a slower version. So let's make that change just by bringing up that time stretch tool and dragging it out. And now 
we very quickly have a you know a slower version of that same loop just dropped into our project. So between the apply project tempo to region and downbeat and the other more manual steps that we can take with moving those time handles to really narrow in on the right timing or just using the flex time stretch tool uh, to bring that out, you can really have a lot of flexibility for what audio you just drop into any project. Um, one thing to note here for things like piano, uh, you're going to find the usually the best result with that polyphonic, just meaning there are multiple notes going on. Um, whereas if you were using just you know a hi-hat pattern, you might want to select one of those other flex time styles, uh, you know, like rhythmic for drums or even slicing for some of those drums too. Um, and so just play around with those if it doesn't sound great right off the bat and see which one works best with your particular audio. And that's what we wanted to get out of this video, just a really easy way to make almost any audio work with your project tempo. So while we've accomplished that, this piano is still kind of sounding really bad. Granted, it was just an iPhone recording of a keyboard, but I'm going to mess with these sounds really quick because I can't stand listening to it like this. So let's fix that. I'll play it and I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And again, subscribe if you want to see more content like this or just follow my music as Cradle Cat. Thanks. See you next time.